I have really enjoyed reading your annual letters and your annual report, and I've gone back and read all the older ones, too. They're, they're terrific. I have also enjoyed reading the two books by Peter Lynch. And I see a lot of commonalities between the two of you, the way you think and your philosophy, etc. I'd certainly appreciate it if you'd make a few comments on what you think of Peter Lynch, the things he says in his two books, and the advice that he gives to investors. Thank well, you. I know Peter, I don't know him well, but, I, but I, we played bridge together in Omaha, as a matter of fact. And I, I, I like him personally, and I, obviously he has an outstanding record. And he has written those two books which have been bestsellers about his investment philosophy. I don't really have anything, I, you know, I'm not going to embroider on his. We ha there is a, there, there's, there's certainly a fair amount of overlap. There's some difference. Peter obviously likes to diversify a lot more than, than I do. I mean, he, he, he owns more stocks than the names of companies I can remember. I mean, but, but that's Peter. And I, uh, you know, I, uh, I've said in, in investing that in the past that there's more than one way to get to heaven. And that uh, there, there isn't a true religion in this, but there's some very useful religions. And uh, Peter's got one, and I think the, we've got one that's useful too. And there is a lot of overlap. But I would not do as well if I tried to do it the way Peter does it, and he probably wouldn't do as well if he tried to do it exactly the way I do it. I like him personally very much. He's a high-grade guy. So